Monday and we're in the garden again. We're not doing well with this new camera. Sadly, we uh, don't seem to be able to adjust the required exposure or anything else. Don't be alarmed, folks. We will get it right eventually. Ukraine, people are dying again. It's still it's not really greatly helpful. Not really, really not helpful at all. However, as they say, Mr. Putin will be looking after everybody. You've all been here with the footage here that um, indicates we're in fact over at the local park helping ourselves once again to um, Revelia. I've still got this obsession about Revelia. I really do. Right, that might be better. Then again, it might not. From where I'm looking at, can see there's some fairly strange colours around the place. Although I have to tell you, the sky is that colour. The blue is taking on a more teal appearance, probably the end of the world, or possibly due to the fact that we're going to spend 380 billion. Did you say billion? 380 billion dollars on various brand new submarines that we can go in bumping into things. This time, if you bump into something, it's nuclear. You've got to be careful there. That's not so good. Not so good at all. However, we can only hope they get it right. I have to say, the new, much vaunted open camera that we're apparently using at the moment doesn't seem to have a great deal of exposure control. Oh, maybe, I don't know. But it um, burns out really quite badly, as I can see in the rear vision where I completed. We completed the foray uh, into the Grevilleas. And as such, have a fairly large, oh, I can't show you. As such, have a fairly large collection here. The mistake we made last year is we didn't actually bother to tell anybody, but to ask anybody what we were supposed to do. And um, that's why only one, I think, survived. Turns out that it's late summer. Now, this might not be late summer because it's, well, it's not summer at all. But I thought late summer, early autumn, we could probably split the difference. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully these little buggers will grow and we'll be able to cover the whole place with them. They're very invasive. And uh, they should attract native birds and bees and all that sort of thing. It's good value being a tree hugger sometimes, I have to tell you. So, we left with bunches of these, which need stripping out. Hopefully, we'll have more luck than we did, because it wasn't pretty last time. It tried and tried and tried to become part of the family, and it just didn't make it. One hung on and hung on and hung on. And, uh, if it was weak for tenacity, it would have won them, but unfortunately, what happens with that sort of thing is that eventually they can't hold on.